Hi, welcome to Infigyan. Today we are going to solve one exponential equation that is 2 raised to the power x plus 4x plus 8 power x equal to 84. We have to find the value of x. This is one of the exponential problem. So if you observe 2 raised to the power x plus 4 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x. So it is one thing we can observe that we can write 8 as 2 cube, 4 as 2 power 2. 2 is 2 power 1 that means 2 itself. Now it looks like we can write in the form of exponent. So let us start by considering that. So I will write this as 2 raised to the power x plus 4 is 2 power 2 whole power x plus 8 as 2 raised to the power 3 whole power x equal to 84. Now if you see the property of exponent then any time a raised to the power b power c can be written as a power c power b means we can swap the powers the exponents. So let us do here 2 raised to the power x plus this 2 and x this 3 and x will be swapped. So I will write 2 raised to the power x whole square plus 2 raised to the power x whole cube minus 84 equal to 0. Okay. Now this is 2 raised to the power x, 2 raised to the power x, 2 raised to the power x. Let us consider 2 raised to the power x is equal to t. So equation will be t plus t square plus t cube minus 84 equal to 0. Or descending order t cube plus t square plus t minus 84 equal to 0. Now I am going to solve further because we have already seen uh, synthetic division method, long division method also. Uh, this time I am going to apply remainder theorem. How you will apply remainder theorem? Let us see through this problem. So remainder theorem states that first find out one factor of any polynomial degree 3 or degree 4. First find out one factor by putting few values of variable. So let me put t equal to 1. Is it satisfying? 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 84. No, it is not satisfying. Let me put t equal to 2. So 8 plus 4 plus 2. So 14 minus 84. No. Let us put 3. 27 plus 9. 36 plus 3. 39 minus 84. No. t equal to 4. 64 plus 16, 80, 80 plus 4, 84, 84 minus 84 is equal to 0. That means t is equal to 4 is solution, one solution of this cubic polynomial or cubic equation. That means in other words, we will conclude t minus 4 is one factor, is one factor of the equation. Okay, so let's consider remainder theorem t cube plus t square plus t minus 84 is equal to 0 and one factor is we just calculated t minus 4. Now what we will do see in remainder theorem in remainder theorem what we will do we will calculate we will just decrease this power the maximum power by 1 means t cube will be written as t square decrease that power by 1 okay it will become t square now that extra t which is left that will be replaced by factor that means t minus 4 now you can see t square into t these two product is t cube what is extra you have added that is minus 4 t square so compensate that you have to write plus 40 square. I am repeating again. T square into T is 
TQ. What extra you have done here means whether it is added or subtracted T square times minus 4 is minus 4T square. So to compensate that minus 4T square, I had to add 4T square. So this is how we will proceed. This is all about remainder theorem. So plus 4T square, then remaining as it is T square plus T minus 84 equal to 0. T square minus T minus 4 plus 4T square plus T square, 5T square. Okay, let me write one time equal to 0. T square T minus 4, same job what we did for TQ, now it is done for T square. So I will write 5T, just decrease that power by 1. So 2 will convert into 1. Now that extra factor will come here as we did for TQ. I, I have written like t square as t times that factor. So t times t minus 4. So 5t into t, 5t square as it is, no problem. 5t into minus 4, that means minus 20t is extra. So compensate that. So that will be compensated by plus 20t. Plus t minus 84, 0. t square, t minus 4. 5t, t minus 4, 21t. These two terms will give you 21t. Now I will write 21t. I will replace that t by t minus 4, that factor. So 21t, what is extra? Minus 84. So I need to add 84. Okay. 21t as it is 21t. This minus sign is extra. 21 times minus 4. So minus 84. To compensate minus 84, I need to add 84. Minus 84 is equal to 0. Now see this will get cancelled out. Take t minus 4 common from the overall bracket. So it will be t square plus 5t plus 21 is equal to 0. Now it is simple. This is quadratic equation. And this is your linear equation. So our solution will be t minus 4 will be equal to 0 or t square plus 5t plus 21 equal to 0. Let's find out whether there are real roots or not in this question. <coughs> t minus 4 is equal to 0. That means t is equal to 4. This is one real solution. Now second equation was t square plus 5t plus 21 is equal to 0. That means a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, c is equal to 21. a is the coefficient of highest power t square multiple. So that is 1. The multiple of t is 5 and constant is 21. Now let's find out t. Formula is minus b. Let me write that formula. So formula is minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now apply the value minus 5 plus minus 25 minus 84 divided by 2. If you see minus 5 plus minus, if you take away this 84, 25 minus 84, then there will be negative value. If you see, then it will be 59 with negative sign divided by 2. So negative of square root means complex number, imaginary number, iota will come into the picture. That means how you will find out? How you will find out? You will be writing this as minus 5 plus minus iota times root 59 divided by 2. So two roots are with plus sign and minus sign. Let me write here 
t is equal to minus 5 plus iota root 59 over 2 and let me write t2 t3 and this will be minus 5 minus iota root 59 divided by 2. So both roots are complex roots or imaginary roots. So you won't write because if real roots are required then t is equal to 4 is your answer. But see what is the value of t substitute that value. So 2 raised to the power x we presume t 2 raised to the power x. So let us substitute again t is equal to 2 raised to the power x equal to 4 that means x this will be 2 raised to the power 2 so x will be equal to 2. So our answer is x equal to 2. You can check that value. Let us check that value. Check. Two raised to the power x plus four raised to the power x, eight raised to the power x. Left hand side. So two raised to the power two plus four raised to the power two plus eight raised to the power two. Two raised to the power two means two times two, four. Four times four, sixteen. Eight times eight, sixty-four. So it is four plus sixteen, twenty. Twenty plus sixty-four, eighty-four which is your right side, right hand side. So that means what value you have calculated x equal to 2 is the right answer. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.